Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we'll be looking at this problem that is called 3sum. And I've already covered a similar problem on my channel before, which is called 2sum. So check that one out before if, uh, before you start with this one. It'll help you out. And if you're clear with that other problem, then well, you're good to go. So let's start by understanding what this problem says, right? So you've been given an array of numbers uh, of integers and you're supposed to find all the unique triplets, basically all the unique groups of three numbers that add up to a given sum. And the sum that we are given here is zero. So you need to find all the unique groups of three numbers from this array that add up to a given sum, which is zero. And uh, one naive way to do this will obviously be to form all the triplets that you have and then simply iterating all, over all of them and seeing which one uh, which ones satisfy the condition, but that will run in O of n cubed time. And cubic time is obviously really slow, and that will probably give you a time limit exceeded error. So a better approach would be to look for an n squared algorithm. And if, you, if, if you've already watched my other video, which was, which was for two sum, uh, you might have an idea on how you might approach this. All we need to do is we need to convert this three sum problem into a two sum problem. And how do we do that? We need to find three numbers. If we find, if we fix one of them, we're left with a two sum problem, right? If we fix one of those numbers, we already know what the other two numbers should add up to. And we just have to find those two numbers and see which ones satisfy the condition of the entire sum. So let's say we fix the first element, then we have the rest of the array left with us, which is 0, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 4. And we can perform the two sum problem on this one, this array that is remaining. And uh, yeah, we can do that and we will get our answer. And if you remember how we solved that problem, we used a hash map to achieve linear time lookup and linear time, a linear time algorithm uh, for the two sum problem using a hash map. We can do that here as well. But my approach here in this problem would be to solve this one uh, without using extra space. We'll solve this one in constant space. A hash map takes off and space because we uh, keep track of all the elements and we won't need to do that here. Right, so yeah, uh, let's get started and let's see how we solve this. So the first thing that you need to uh, keep in mind while solving this problem is that the algorithm is already U of n squared or n cubed, whatever, like depending on what on your approach, it was already n cubed or n squared. So if we add a sort in there, if you sort the array there, it won't really affect the time complexity because sorting takes n log n time and adding n log n to n square doesn't really change the time complexity at all. So that is pretty much fine. So the first thing that we'll do is sort the array. And why do we do that? You'll see that it ends up making our lookups a lot faster. It ends up he helping us have constant time. And basically everything is good there and it makes us happy, right? So yeah, so let's start off by writing our uh, code here. The first thing I'll do is I'll just declare the ear a result matrix of integer type, I'll call it res. This is a boundary condition if the size of the array that we are given is smaller than three, then it's obviously not possible to solve this problem. So we'll simply return res, which will be an entry matrix at that time. The next thing that we need to do is sort this array. So nums.begin and nums.end. Yep. And this will sort this array in ascending order. So just keep that in mind that this will sort this in ascending order. Right. And yeah. Now all you need to do is fix one of these elements and perform a two sum problem on the rest of the remaining elements. How do we do that? We will simply start a for loop from int i equal to zero to i smaller than nums dot size minus two because we won't be fixing the elements till the last point because we will, let's say we'll fix it till here. Then we also have to find the perform a two sum problem, right? And so we leave at least two elements at the end to perform that two-sum problem. Otherwise, obviously, how can we find two elements if there, are, there aren't any left? So we'll only move the uh, I pointer towards to the third last element so that two elements are left for us to perform the two-sum problem. And we'll just move plus plus I and we'll open this for loop, right? So the first thing that we need to do is that we know that we've already sorted this array in ascending order. And just for reference, I'll just try the array in ascending order down below, minus four, minus one, minus one, zero, one, and two. So this will be our array. And uh, yeah, uh, so in case the current number that we are fixing 
If it turns out to be greater than the target, for instance, the target here, we'll define that as well while we're at it, int target equal to zero. And you can just change this target for any number that you want. Here we have zero, so I'll just hard code that as zero. So in case the current number is greater than the target value, which is zero in this case, if, it's, if, it's, if that's the case, we already know that there is no other answer remaining on, in our search space, right? Because this is a non-decreasing array. We already sorted it in ascending order or non-decreasing order. And all the elements after the current element are anyway at least equal to or greater than the current element. And you can obviously not get a smaller element by adding three larger elements. So if that's the case, we'll simply break and we'll break out the loop. The other thing that we want to do is just check if we are encountering a duplicate element, right? Because we don't want to uh, include duplicate triplets. This does say the solution set must not contain duplicate triplets. We want to avoid duplicates. So if we uh, see uh, that the current i that is there, uh, the current element that we are looking at is the same as the one we look, uh, looked at before, we'll simply skip that. So I'll just write that up. I'll write i is greater than zero just to ch uh, check for the boundary condition. And uh, nums of i equal to equal to nums of i minus one. Uh, if that's the case, I'll just continue to the next iteration. And I just did i greater than zero so that uh, it doesn't throw an error when it's at the first element and it doesn't try to uh, search for an element out of bounds, right? Yeah, that is it. And this is basically it, how you will uh, fix the first element. Now you need to perform the two sum problem on the remaining array. So we'll use two pointers. One of them will point, let's say we fix the minus four. One of them will point to the immediate next element, which will be the left pointer. And one of them will point to the last element of the array, which will be the right pointer, right? And uh, the left pointer will basically be the smallest element remaining in the, uh, in the remaining array. And the right pointer will be the largest element that is remaining in the remaining array. So I'll just do that. I'll write int left equal to i plus one and I'll just remove the cursor from there i plus one and right equal to uh, nums dot size minus one. So this will be basically be the last element, right? And we'll run this uh, algorithm till while left is smaller than right so that we won't uh, move it till small than equal to because you don't want them to the same element. We don't want them to point at the same element, so yeah. And uh, yeah, so now we'll see what is the current sum that we are currently getting, right? So how will I do that? I'll just write in sum equal to nums at i plus nums at left plus nums at right. And I'll just check if this adds up to, our, to the sum that we currently are looking for. If that is the case, uh, I'll just check an if condition if sum equal to equal to target, if that is the case, all I need to do is simply add all these elements, nums i, nums left, and nums right to the result. So I'll just do result dot pushback, and I'll create an array on the fly, and add nums i to it, nums left to it, and nums right to it. And that should be it. Now again, we want to avoid duplicate answers. So in case we have duplicated left and right elements, we'll just skip over all of them. So we'll just write a condition for that. While left is smaller than right and uh, nums of left is equal to nums of left plus one. Until that's the case, we'll keep moving and we'll move till we come to the last repeated element. So we'll just keep going one step to the right, right? So we'll just keep moving the left pointer until we come at the last repeated element. Similarly, while right is greater than left, we'll similarly move the right element, right pointer as well. And we'll write nums of right equal to nums of right minus one because we are moving right towards the left hand side. So we'll keep moving it till we come to the last repeated element, right minus minus. And now we'll see that we are at the last repeated at the last repeated elements, right? And this will stop when there are no repeated elements left. But the current element that we are currently at in that case is also the one that was repeated. So just to 
tip it over to the next unique element, all we'll do is simply move these just one more time to the left, to the right, and to the left, right? So that now we are we end up at the next unique set of triplets. And if this was not the case, let's say if uh, else if our sum fell short of the target somehow, uh, if our sum fell short of the target, we need the sum to become larger. And how will we do that? We'll move the left pointer towards the right because our array is sorted. Our array is sorted. And let's say if the left pointer was pointing at this point minus one, we want the sum to become larger. We've already fixed some element before this. And the right element, let's say, is at pointing at minus two, uh, at two and we want the sum to become larger, we'll simply move the left pointer towards the right because it's an ascending order array. So we just move it to the right hand side. So I'll do left uh, plus plus. Otherwise, if the sum was greater than what we wanted, we'll simply move the right uh, pointer towards the left so that the sum becomes smaller as again, the array is in sorted order, right? And uh, this is it, I'll just remove this example and I'll just return the result and that should basically be it and let's try running this code and let's see if it gives us the correct answer and it does so let's just submit this and hopefully it will accept this answer and it does and it's faster than 94 percent and uh, well this is perfectly fine and my PC is out of battery so I'll just connect that in all right so yeah, this is how you solve this problem. And if there's any other, any issues, just be sure, uh, just leave a comment and I'll be sure to uh, look at that and I'll respond as soon as I can. The comment as always is in the description. The code is all, as always is in the description and uh, just check that out and uh, subscribe to my channel, like this video if this helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.